Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Thank you, my liege. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Perhaps you do not know the full extent of their determination. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. It is unsettling, sleeping under this... Ceiling. Now this is what I'm talking about. You Skirts need anything, Commander? <laughs> you think one of them would give a dwarf a go? Or maybe two of them? May I be of service? Farewell, Command. Point the way, fearless leader. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the Vigil considerably. Very Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. You need to head to the city, then. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the... Edelbrex speaks truly, sir, but... He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade... As you wish. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah. As you wish. Clear the hall. The commander has business to attend to. All rise. The warden commander and liege lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could. But you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My fam... my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging.
Thank you. Thank you. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Derren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Derren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well. I place my trust in you. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. Bring in Sir Temele the Ox. Sir Temele stands accused of a murder most foul. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You dare too much, Captain Garavel. I am noble-born and will not submit to your accusations. You are accused of murder, sir. My soldiers found you fleeing while Sir Tamra's blood was still hot. There's a great deal of traffic on the roads, not all of it human. And it's so dangerous at night. We were merely in a hurry to reach a nice, safe place. You mock this court with your denials. You have nothing, Captain. Release me, Commander. It's this common lout's word against mine. You will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temele was a confederate of Al Hao. If he is innocent, I'm the Empress of Orlais. But it's possible, I suppose. There'd be some outrage. There's no love for the Ox, but he's a noble. With such scant evidence, but you are within your rights to execute him. I fear you're correct. What is your will? But... you can't. Oh, but the commander very much can. This session of the Arling's court is over. And Maker, help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Commander. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrin. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. Commander. It has begun. Uh, yes. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. I don't actually think your jokes are funny, do you? Could have sworn that fly was buzzing again. Ha! Let me tell you about my life in one word. Uh, oh no, don't take me back to the tower. I'm far, far too delicate. <laughs>
be done.
I shall do it.
ancestors favor us indeed. This is a dwarven barrier door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. If the stone wills it, you give a brother hope, Commander. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course. You know, Nathaniel, you're just like... Oh, you're back to visit old... What? Think you... That's one way of putting it. They talked about you. Samuel! Groundskeeper Samuel! Is that you? Who? Make his breath. If it isn't little Nate. I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. And Lady Delilah... Don't you know? She isn't dead, son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. I knew about my mother and heard my brother might be dead. Could we ask around the shops next time we're in Amaranthine? Thank you. There was a mouser in the tower named Mr. Wiggums. Only company I had when the Templars locked me up. Miss that beast a lot sometimes. But I can't keep a cat. We fight Darkspawn for a living. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, Kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce-a-Lot. You can stay in my pack. Just for a little while, yes? <laughs> 